Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Dennis. So today we're going to do a review of a bone conduction wireless headphone. Alright, so first we're going to get it out of the box, have a quick look at it, and then we're going to go over some of the features, specifications, and let's see how it all works. Let's get started. So this is our first look at it, and of course it has version 5.1, dual listening, battery life says 6 hours, ultra light, stereo sound, and built-in mic support. Okay, this is model LK02. So you can kind of see how it's going to work here. Let's get it out of the box, and let's go over uh, a little, let's have a look at it. But before we do that, okay, it st states that it's for all kinds of music, uh, box contents, okay, bone conduction headphones, Type-C power cable, and a user manual. Okay, we'll see that in a second. Okay, specifications, Bluetooth version 5.1. These are the different uh, supported profiles, all right, it's, which is quite a lot of them. The playtime, six hours, and USB Type-C. So, again, let's get it out and have a look. So, take it out. Comes out pretty easy, nothing fancy to that. And, comes up here. Okay, nice case. Okay, I like the design of it. All right. And of course our manual is in the box. Okay, user manual. We'll open this up. And what do we have? So I always kind of like these. Okay, that gives you another thing you can do. Now that you can actually put on your keychain and then you can put it in through here. Right through there. Right, nice addition. Held in very nicely with this elastic band. And let's have a look. So what do we got? Okay, so like I said, we have a USB-C cable. So USB-C to USB Type A. And the headphones itself. It's very pliable. Like, should stand up quite a lot. This is your mic. Okay, it swivels. Well, it's almost a 360 degree swivel, really. So that's pretty good. This is going to be your volume buttons. And this is going to be to charge it right here. This is going to open up. It's where your USB C is going to go in. And this is probably going to indicate when it's turned on. And let's see, where to, how do we turn it on? It's probably this button right here. So I'm just going to hold it for a second. So it says, that's how you uh, pair it as well. Because I don't know if you heard that, but it said, powered on pairing. So it's flashing. So you'd have to have your device connected to it and you'd be good. And then once you've paired it, it'll stop. So I'm just going to turn that off for now. And of course, hold it for about three seconds, it seems like, and it powers off. So now let's, let's give it a try and see what it... Uh, See what it's like, see how it fits on the uh, noggin, and uh, back in a sec. Alright, so putting these on just goes over the ears on both sides, and it sits against, well, kind of against the side of your, uh, like, cheeks here, I guess, just above. This is the on button, so if you, three seconds, turns it on, it'll start pairing, pair it with your Bluetooth device that you've got, and you're good. Um, and of course this side is just uh, your mic, okay. Now I did test it. It works okay. I wouldn't say it, I'd use it for gaming maybe or anything like that, but for just ordinary stuff, uh, it works. Uh, I did find it picked up a bit of background uh, noise. Uh, it's almost like it's too sensitive. Uh, not that that's a bad thing because if you're using it with your phone, that's exactly what you kind of want. Unless you're out walking around with a bunch of people, maybe. Um, in the back, it does come across a little bit here. But it's not sitting right against your neck. So I kind of first didn't like that. And then the more I had it on, the more I liked it. Um, listening to videos and I watch some YouTube stuff. It sounds amazing. In fact, it sounds so good. You It feels like you have a symphony kind of playing around your head. And it sounds so clear, you're actually thinking maybe other people can hear it. 
And I, but I asked, and no, they can't hear anything. But it's it's truly like being in like a, in a concert hall. Uh, I've never had anything like this before. They call it ear conduction, like uh, headphones. So I mean, it's pretty. I, I I'm really impressed with it. I didn't think I would be. I mean, I always think like headphones are headphones and stuff like that. But these, what I get, what a problem I have is when I put the headphones or earphones inside after a while my ear gets itchy and stuff like that well where it's at now doesn't bother me at all so and of course you have your on off button and uh, your volume uh, to turn things up and down and I had to turn it down it was way too loud um, but I was able to adjust it for whatever I was watching and the sound was great all right so just wanted to show you all that tell you a little bit about how it works I like it this is completely adjustable for your mic. Okay, if you don't want it there, just top, push it out of the way and you're good. All right, so it's up to you how you want to use it. All right, so I wanted to show you that this will flash blue once everything's been connected, just to show you that it is still working. Okay, that is basically your indicator light. Uh, you have the multi-function for the mic. All right, so it functions for uh, power, for a phone call and you can play and pushing it once will hold it so you can pause your video as you're watching it if somebody's trying to talk to you or whatever or you're taking a call it'll automatically pause uh, microphone itself okay there's two separate spots where it has mic to input sound uh, you have a microphone mute switch okay and you also have a speaker hole on each side of the uh, headphones themselves all right just things to be aware of now of course i charged it up it didn't take me more than i think like maybe an hour to charge it up with a type c uh power cable and everything worked great from there um instead of going into all the details for the specs i'm just going to quickly show you them all right so there's your Bluetooth, frequency ranges, everything support. Okay. Charge time is just about two hours. I definitely used it a lot longer than that. And for those of you that want to know how everything else works, they're powering on, powering off. Like I said, three seconds. And headphone connection method, how to pair everything. All right. Basically, like I say, three seconds, your Bluetooth device will be will detect it. You just hit on connect. Or if it asks you for a phrase, like a passphrase, it's zero, 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 and that will connect the device. Um, I don't have anything too bad to say about it, except for maybe the mic. It mic could have been a little better, but I'm still impressed with it. It worked. I used it with ChatGPT, and it worked fine. All right. Now, after you've initially paired it, don't worry. Next time you go in, it just automatically detects it and starts working. Of course you have to turn it on don't forget that all right and you can reset the headset if you choose to now if this was flashing red and blue okay that's telling you like you're pairing and you're going to connect to a device just be aware of that and of course how you wear it is just exactly as i showed you and when the battery is low the indicator light will turn red okay and that tells you okay time to plug it in and charge it up and of course when you turn it on like again you hold it for three seconds it'll turn on now after you've already paired it it's just going to come on and say powered on same thing when you hold it turn it off for three seconds it'll say power it off all right and of course over time uh, like most headphones after you've been paused for a certain length of time it will just kind of go into like a standby mode so until you start using it again i, I did that i was watching youtube videos fell asleep woke up and it was still working away as soon as i started watching it he activated and away it went all right buddy so that's the video um hope you like it if you like it hit me that big old thumbs up if you don't or even if you do and you want to leave a comment leave it down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can if you have any questions at all put them in the comments if i can't find out i'll go to the manufacturer and i'll ask them so we'll get you an answer one way or the other um, I, I was, now they, they provided these to me, just to be clear.
as most of the products that I review from other companies, um, they're provided to me. They don't pay me for it, but they just provide me the product to do the review with. Now, I like them. Um, the mic I'm kind of not so sure on. Um, I did have a kind of a TV in the background, so it wasn't the best of checks. But it picked up the TV, it picked up me, and I used it with chat GPT, like I said, and it worked. It came up with some interesting answers to different conversations on the TV and what I said. So at least it, it showed to me that it was working. And when I went in to set up the microphone, just in case I could do anything better, uh, everything was working fine. So I didn't have to really do anything. So anyway, if you're new here, think about subscribing. And uh, if you see, hit that bell for notifications for videos that come up in the future. And again, good product. Yeah, I'd recommend it. That is a very unique sound. Uh, one I have not had before. By putting those right there. I've never experienced it before. It was really, really nice. Um, you, you, you'd like it. Uh, and of course, the way it's built, I, I shake my head everything. It did not come off. So if you wanted to use these to go jogging or running or working out, it would work for you. All right? Just something else to remember. So thank you very much for watching. See you for the next one. Bye-bye.